Hello everybody, hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Just give everybody time to, to jump in real quick so I can go ahead and give y'all this Motivational Monday topic today. Once again, everybody, I appreciate you on joining today for this um, motivational topic. Now, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be with y'all very long, but I do want to uh, share this um, motivational topic with with y'all on today. Um, first of all, be, before I start, I like to um, welcome everyone who's on um, tuning in to me from uh, TikTok, uh, and I appreciate y'all tuning in today. Uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in as well today, and. And um, I'm also streaming not only from TikTok, but I'm streaming from my other one platforms as well, which is YouTube and uh, Facebook as well. So if you're not following me on any one of these um, channels, you can look, go ahead and do that as well, uh, as well as TikTok. Now today is going <clears> to <throat> today's is Mo motivational Monday. I'm not wondering why I'm talk to y'all today about this um, very important motivational topic. All right, so. Today's motivational Monday topic is this. Um, it talks about keeping up with the Joneses. Now, what, what do I mean by this? About keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with keeping up with the Joneses simply means is that you're trying to live your life at a certain expectation where you you're trying to keep up with everyone else. You're trying to want to follow everyone else. Um, you're trying to want. Um, um, achieve certain goals just so you can be part of the social norm status. That's basically what keeping up the Joneses mean. So today on, <clears throat> today on Motivational Monday, I want to encourage y'all to not keep up with the Joneses. Now, y'all probably asking right now, now Urban, why, why should I not keep up with the Joneses? Why I shouldn't um, Motivate myself to uh, you know achieve certain goals a status so I can feel that I'm a part of the social norm Actually, that's, that's a one good question. Now the answer to this is simply this Well, whenever you keep up with the Joneses This is the normal behavior that that happens when when you do that Okay, the normal behavior that happens is that once when you try to keep up with, with the Joneses um, there, there, there'll be a certain level of um, in contentment that that happens all right there be a certain level of contentment that that happens there be uh, in other words you just not satisfied you just not satisfied with whatever resource that that you um that you're coming up with like say for example all right say for example um keeping up with the Jones and say it also could come mean that uh you um keeping up with family members or friends or anything like that but once again, say for example, say for example, you you have a family member, um, they they end up, end up purchasing a home, right? And they're they're in the financial means to purchase a home, so they go ahead and achieve that goal and purchase a home. However, with with you on the other hand, um, you see that since your family member or friend is purchasing that home, you want to go ahead and purchase a home as well. So instead of going through the whole due diligence of, of uh, trying to figure out if you if you could even qualify to purchase a home, what what you do? You'll end up um, you'll end up trying to purchase a home. You look at your financial status and see that your financial status isn't it doesn't even qualify for you enough to even keep up with the one the mortgage to purchase a home. But yet and still you wonder why I'm still purchasing a home because you see that your friend or family member or whoever is purchasing the home. So this is what I mean by keeping up with the Johnsons. When when you when you stepping out of your your financial means and you know that you're at a certain income level, it's better for you to be content 
at that certain income level versus you trying to want to go ahead and uh, try to keep her with the Joneses and put yourself in a in a financial situation just because you see see your your um your cousins doing it just be see you just because you see your best friend do it just because you see um just because you see people on TV do it as well. This is what I mean by keeping up with the Joneses, and this is what, what I'm telling y'all today that it's better for you to um, be content in your financial means than to try to keep up with everyone every single time, all right? And this is what I'm talking about with keeping up with the Joneses. So it's, it's better for you to be happy and content in your financial status of where you at. Now, now are you saying on Urban that I shouldn't want to always go and try to get a better job or, you know, get a better career so I could be stable. That's not that's not what I'm saying. If you if you have the, the goal to want to want to do better for, for yourself for us, like more financial status, there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and do that. But at the same time, as long as you reach a certain financial status, normally the behavior behind that is that once we reach a certain financial status, typically People like to um, purchase more because they have a certain financial status. And this is what keeps the, the, the cycle of people constantly staying in debt over and over again. Because once when they reach a certain financial status, instead of being content and happy at that certain financial status, they end up going back and um, purchasing certain uh, things where they end up putting them more and more in debt. Y'all you know understand what I'm saying? So it could be anything. It could be like a home. You could probably purchase a car that that's a million dollar vehicle. Knowing good and well, you cannot afford a million dollar vehicle, but you'll try to purchase that just because you feel like that this is what you need to do to keep up with the social norm. But I'm I'm encouraging y'all today to uh, not do that. Whenever you get to a certain status, especially a financial set status, when you get to a certain financial status, I recommend that you stay in that financial status. If it's any way possible that anything that you purchase, you could completely pay it off quick, I recommend you do that so you won't be in debt uh, trying to keep up with the Juan Joneses. That's, that's what I'm saying. So so in other words, uh, it's better for y'all to stay where you at and be happy and content where you at. And also knowing that wherever, wherever you at, wherever you're dealing with, wherever you're at, Long as you're able to um, keep yourself out of debt doing it, you're able to purchase things um, and stand out of debt, then it's fine for you to um, acquire them certain things. It, it's nothing wrong with that. But never, but never, never, never put yourself in such a financial debt because you're trying to keep up with someone. You're trying to keep up with a certain social status. You're trying to, um, just because you see certain celebrities or whoever it is, and you're trying to keep up with that, that certain uh, status. So for Motivational Monday today, I'm encouraging y'all to not keep up with your Joneses, but stay within your living means. When you stay within your, your living means, I guarantee that you'll be way more happier than, than trying to chase after something that's a, that's a continual behavioral cycle over and over and over again. I am the official Urban Therapist. I appreciate y'all y'all tuning in. And like I always, y'all, y'all continue to fight fate with faith. And I appreciate everyone who's who's tuning in with me as well on TikTok. Now you can follow follow me on all my platforms. I'm on uh, for my TikTok fans. I am on YouTube and Facebook as well. If you want to follow me there and everyone else who, who are very me on Facebook and YouTube, I'm also on TikTok as well if you want to follow me on that platform as well. Like I always y'all, y'all continue to fight faith with faith, and I will see y'all again.